like you said, that kind of man, he don't need that money. He's got his own money, so he don't care about the money. That's not going to attract him at all. Fifth, 13 year old son, single mother, he's got options. That's what I said. And that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is living proof, guys, that is literally the same shit. The copy and paste. <laughs> what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're reacting to kevin samuels you guys have been sending a lot of videos of his but we're gonna start at the beginning you know the video that really really blew up for kevin samuels and it's called your average at best first of all rest in peace to kevin samuels rest in peace man condolences sent out to his family and loved ones as well yeah i'm sure with his content out there you know his message still lives so i'm excited to see what he stands for and learn more about kevin samuels for his videos so mm -hmm. we could do that journey together so yeah. let's get into the video Family. okay so what's your disagreement um honestly i don't have a disagreement i just came in here because i honestly want some advice from you okay it says disagreement day oh i know but this is my first time catching it on live normally i'm asleep <laughs> and um you have a job i do i own a business okay so i do too <laughs> and i do have a question you but know. i have a business and if you wanted my advice, you could always book a session if you can't catch us at the show live. He said it straight. Like, if you can't catch a show live, book a session. Which is true, because in a way, you know, if he's saying it's disagreement day, he's of that day is made for a certain topic. And if she's mm -hmm. trying to come and, you know, she's messing up his schedule in a way, it's a bit disrespectful to his business. I'm definitely, I was trying to go online um, earlier. But, but, to but all you have to do, man, but see, what kind of business do you own? I own a pet grooming, doggy daycare, and indoor Okay, so farm. what you're basically trying to do is I have a disagreement day, and you basically came in and said, damn your topic. Mm. I want to ask you what I want to ask you. And okay. that's, but you are more than welcome to go on my website and purchase your time to talk with me one on one. Because what you're trying to do is rather rude, but I will go mm. ahead and do it because I'm going to use this as a teaching lesson. How old okay. are you? What do you think of, you know, it's your first time kind of seeing Kevin Samuels. What's your thoughts on his, you know, how he is, the way he comes across? He's very calm. Yeah, I like that. He's well-mannered as well. And he's saying very politely, like, you're taking the piss out of me. Yeah, but in a polite <laughs> way. But yeah. he's very respectful as well, yeah. the way his message comes across, yeah. which I like. How old are you? I'm 35. 35 years old. 35 years old and you're a business owner. Jessica uh -huh. Gardner. Uh-huh. And what's your question? Um, so uh, my issue is, ha well, I want to know at what point when I'm just meeting a guy, do I tell him that I'm a business owner? Because um, my problem is that when I try to date down and I the conversation comes up to where I own a business, um, the guy is either like, Hey, can I come join in on you on that business? Or can I put some money and be a business partner? And I'm not looking for that. And I honestly oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to be hold clear on, on hold, the subject. Hold on. Where are you where are you at? North Carolina. And you're saying when to tell somebody you own a business? Because um I find when I date down guys. Uh -huh see an interest and want to be like a business partner and um i'm learning that maybe i need a high value man because that's what well first off um so she's saying if she dates downwards as soon as the guy hears she's some sort of business owner they want to get involved and try to get their foot in with that and she doesn't like that because it's hers so she's saying she feels she wants someone more of value, value. So that way, her being a business owner is nothing to the guy because he's probably got his own shit going on. Which I get because, uh, you know, guys, I guess if a female's doing well, a guy would want to, you know, if he's not doing well, he might want to get involved and it might be off-putting for her. So I'm excited to see what advice he gives to that. I mean, a lot of females today, if a woman is successful, so she's working, she's got her own thing going on, she's making her own money and everything... I mean, a lot of women do want a man on their level or mm. higher. They don't want to feel like they have to take care of someone, if that makes sense. Yeah. Most women anyway. But I feel like if a man is coming 
okay, I understand if a man just wants to get his foot in the business, get, get some of that bread as well. It's kind of like, well, like, mm. <laughs> this is my thing and that back off. Yeah. But if he's genuinely trying to help That's and different. if he's coming up with ideas, oh, babe, maybe you should try this to increase your revenue or this, that, blah, blah, blah. Bringing something to the table, yeah, not just trying to take. That's different. So mm. If he's able to bring something to the table and add on top of her business, that's fine. Despite it But being... if he's just there to, you know, get some of that bread... To leech off it, yeah. Yeah, he needs to go. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And it's good to hear a woman's perspective on that. Yeah. So let's see. I, ma'am, I really don't understand. Uh, what kind of man are you talking about? Because um, owning a business is no different than having a job, in my opinion. And so I'm, I'm not getting what you're saying. When should you... I'm not understanding why this is an issue. If you're, if you're, what kind of men are you, what kind of men are you dating? <laughs> um, I try to give, I try to give guys that not, you, a you try to do what? I try to give guys that's not on my level a chance. Why? What do you mean on your level? On your level. What does that mean? That's making six figures or more. But I don't understand. So- her business is doing well because if she's saying her level is six figures or more, her business isn't like a, a struggling business. It sounds like a decently successful business to be making that kind of money. So she said people on her level, she doesn't give them a chance. No, she tries to give a chance to less successful people as well. She wants someone on her level financially or on her level in terms of the world of business. But obviously it sounds like she's struggling to attract that. So she gives people who aren't successful a chance, but they keep trying to get their foot in the door with her business. Yeah, but that's kind of like, I don't know, that's kind of like a man being very successful and then the woman being not that successful. Should that man give that woman a chance? Yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> like, I know some women that, you know, are making peas, like a lot of money, but they're happy to, I want to say take care of a man, but they're happy to be the breadwinner mm. in the partnership. So I don't see nothing wrong with the female making more money than the man because if the roles switched... Thing is, she's not said she's not okay with it. She sounds like she doesn't mind, hence why she's given a chance. But it sounds like every guy... But her question here is, how do I attract a higher value man? Because every guy she's attracting that's not on her level... Is trying to just take her bread. Maybe it's from the, the way she's networking. Or maybe it's the way she's. Maybe she's putting out that she's a business owner too early, and that was her question. When do I let them know I am a business mm-hmm. owner? Because it seems like she's letting them out know too early, and then they're thinking shit. All they're seeing is dollar signs, right? You try to give guys who are not on your level a chance. Why? And I'm. Because I want. I honestly want a six-figure guy. Uh, is what I'm realizing. <laughs> Okay, so let me just go ahead and net it out for you. You ready? Uh Uh-huh. The guys you want aren't asking you out. Well, (laughs) I haven't been put myself out there, honestly. But you put yourself out there enough for the guys you don't want or relief you to ask you out. Those are like guys I met online. Right. Definitely Tinder, definitely Instagram DMs, all of that. So, again, the men you want are not asking you out. See, you ladies do this. There we go. You go and deal with men who you feel are beneath you, and then you ask how to fix them. I'm not beneath you. I don't know how to fix a guy that doesn't that's down there. That's not my concern. The better question is, why can't you get a guy on your level? That's a good question. That's, that's the why real you're question. Advised. Well, the first thing, well, well, first of all, I would tell you what I said in here automatically is a problem. Why you would come onto a show that you know is a disagreement day? It's selfish. It is selfish, but I feel like she's very desperate for help. She obviously looks up to his advice. She knows he knows what he's talking about. And she took any opportunity to grab it. But at the same time, she's yeah, making no six offense. figures. If she's making so much money, yeah, she yeah, could have booked an appointment That's what I was literally going to say. So it's kind of like, you're making this money. Why do you want to... It's disrespectful. This is what annoys me. A lot of people don't respect a self-owned business. Mm. She's a businesswoman herself. She does this. She should understand thing. as a business owner. She should have just paid him for his time. I agree. It's like, and well, it- I, yes, ma'am. It's self. It's like I want what I want. I, I don't. I don't say things for no reason. That's why I asked you questions. You're 35 years old, a business owner. That means you understand what business is, and you know this is mm. a business. 
and I have a and I have a show title. And you said, damn your show title, I want to talk to you. But you could have went to my business and booked time to talk to me, but you wanted yeah. what you wanted, how you want it. I'm sorry. No, it's but the, and I'm using this as lesson. That's the problem with too many of you black women. You don't do shit the right way with black men. Stop. That was improper. And when he said it straight, and you know what? She's taking it very well because she knows she's in the wrong with that. She's taking it well. I give her yeah, credit yeah, the I way she's she's not yeah. arguing, she's not raising her voice, she's apologizing, and you, she's staying quiet and she's listening. She knows I, what she's done is wrong. Exactly. Yeah. When I told you the right way, you still were like, uh, well, whatever. So I'm going to use this. Oh, <laughs> When was the last time you had a relationship? Um, Like the end of last year around December. How long did it last? A year. Okay. A year. Uh, and was that man, uh, did you go to college? Did I go to college? Yes. No, sir. Okay. And how long have you owned your own business? Nine years. And how, and how long have you been making six figures or more? On um, the last three. Good grind though. Nine years she stuck yeah, out here and in the last three well, years it's picked up properly. Yeah. Nice man. Okay. Why do you need a man making six figures? Um, because I'm finding out that the guys that I date that's not it's not working out. What does it have to do with money? Because I feel like um I need a guy that I can respect and admire and I'm ambition ambition and I want a guy that has that drive too. And when he doesn't, I find myself, you know, encouraging him like, hey, babe, you can do this and you can do that. That's kind of what you said. Like women don't want to look after a guy in a way. Like women would always look up rather than down majority of the time. And she's kind of saying the same in the sense that she has. She wants someone she could admire and look up to, and use that energy to motivate herself to be better. Yeah. But she don't want to be the one doing the motivating. But again, like I said, you can have as a woman, you can have someone, a man that's making less money than you, but he doesn't have to financially be making more money yeah. than you. He, he can be doing Ment other things. He could be wealthy in the mind. He could be bloody taking care of you. On Instagram, it was funny because basically the lady was a bread maker, so in the morning. The husband would prepare the breakfast and everything, <laughs> and he's basically the housewife. But they swap you know, roles. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that, though. I, I've never in nature as well. Because if you look back in the day, caveman days, it was the man that went out hunting. It was in a way gender roles in a way. Women can get the same jobs as men now. Mm. They can be they CEOs can. and everything. She's making six figures herself. So, but naturally, she wants a guy that she can look up to, and that's to me human nature. The woman would yeah. want the guy that they can be you know expired by and push forward for i get that and you know i'm not saying you, she shouldn't date guys less than her because i don't think that's right because money isn't everything that guy who's less successful like I said, could she have can mental find experience a guy, she can find a guy that may not make as much money as her but he can support her he can give her ideas in terms of how, to, I mean, she's already in six figures, but how to expand no, her to, business even more. Her, just because she's on six figures yeah. doesn't mean she's doing everything right. There's things, yeah, those she things can, that have been how improved, she can expand sure. her business more. So there's other ways that he can help her. Hmm. And then, All right. So in North Carolina, how, what percentage of the population, what percentage of men in this country make six figures or more? I think it's like 5%. Ooh, I'm not, it's not much. Closer to 10. Okay. So. Oh, 10%. All right. So the question is, what do those men who make that kind of money, who all women tend to want, what do they want? I feel like they want arm candy, somebody who can um, have more to bring to the table than just looks, but um, also bring balance to their life. I feel like I can help them out on... Um, okay, slow down. I'm not understanding. You said they want arm candy, then you contradicted yourself. You want, but it, they want somebody that more than just looks. Yeah, arm candy, but something by you know brain with it, and you know more in depth. Do you own, do you know any men who make six figures or more? My dad and my uncle. Do you? Excuse me. Do you know any men that you are related to that make six figures or more? Unrelated to. Yeah, Man, that you are personal. not related to. Not on a personal level. So you don't know them. 
You don't know what they want, but you want him. Man, <laughs> I'm going to suggest that you... I really like how he breaks down the questions. And it makes you think, you know what? Like, you know, the way he's breaking it down, any, let's say, girl could say she wants a millionaire, but I doubt a girl sits there and thinks, how many millionaires are there in percent? What do they actually go for? Like, you, when you break down the data, so opens your a eyes. a successful man who's making loads of money, he's not going to care if the woman is bringing him money or not. Exactly. So. Yeah, that's my... I was <laughs> he's gonna not going to care. Because he's making mad money. He's going to think, you don't need to work. I can take care of you. Or why are you working for or whatever? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So... You really don't know what you want. <clears throat> and saying six figures is just something that you get taken from out there, but I'm not hearing this rooted to anything. But what do you want ultimately? Do you want to be married? Children? What? Yes, I want to be married. Do you want any children? Yes. How many? Um, I have a son now, so... Okay. How old is your son? He's 13. Where's the father? He's not in, a, in his life. I didn't well, ask he, that. I said, where's the father? Well, he's not like in it like I would like him to be. I have the music in the background. Oh, I love it. it's so chill. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, let me go ahead and take this down. Ma'am, men who make the kind of money you're talking about have options. And typically, yeah. I don't want to deal with women who are have 13-year-old sons, who are used to dating men. Who, this doesn't sound appealing to the kind of man you're talking about. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but... So maybe that's why she can't attract that man because he's saying, like you said, that kind of man, he don't need that money. He's got his own money, so he don't care about the money. That's not going to attract him at all. Fifth, 13 year old son, single mother. He's got options. He might be looking at the 24 year old girl, doesn't have money, which he doesn't care about because he's got money, who better looking, do you know what I mean? Like ticks way more boxes in that sense. And that's the kind of girl that's going to attract the rich man. I mean, I think it depends on the man itself as well. Not all men just care about a young, hmm, fine yeah, looking. Female. Some do, some don't, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them do. <laughs> but. <laughs> Most of them, they actually do want a smart woman by the side. But like she said, she doesn't even know anyone. So she's not even networking with them. She's in not the first networking, place. yeah. She's not talking to them. She's not networking with them. So it's, she's talking to the wrong people. Yeah, how can you even get she to doesn't that even person? Know, she hasn't even tried to talk to someone that is on six figures. She hasn't even been on a date with someone that's on six figures either. So but she also, hasn't exposed herself to that. I, I get that. But at the same time, she's attracted some guys. There's guys that are messaging. Yeah, she's but been these on are dates. all online though. She needs yeah, to go but, out. <laughs> like, yeah, but online. All right, so her it's so online, easy to find someone online. Her online status is attracting the men. Why is she, her online status not attracting the rich men or the 100k plus men? Because what they're busy Kevin's saying, thoughts on Instagram, <laughs> young girls. What Ke he's right because he she's not appealing to that audience or that male. Like I said, 35 year olds, single mother, dad's gone, don't know where the hell he is. Um, you know, business owner, great, but they don't give a shit about money. They've got tons of money, hence why they're a high value man. You know, she's attracting that caliber of men because her profile and image and life setup will attract that kind of man who needs a woman that's a bit more powerful that can get that guy into a better position because he's struggling himself. So that's probably why they're asking about her business so quickly and trying to get their foot in the door with a business so quick. So her profile is attracting the wrong kind of guys. Let's say she was 15 years younger, early 20s, no kids, money's there if it needs to be. She'll probably attract a high value man than she would at the moment with how she's putting herself out. It's unfortunate, like that's her life situation, but that's the reality in my opinion. Uh, um, I was thinking once I start booking a session with you that... Um... I can't change men. I know, but I can approve myself and I feel like I have a lot to offer to those type of men. Oh, okay, but see, you should have stopped right there. I just told you I cannot change men. And you said right? once I book a session with you, I'm not a miracle worker. I'm telling <laughs> right. you what they want. And you're still right. saying, yeah, but I want them. They don't want you. Yes. But I have been working on myself this year and... um. I, okay, ma'am, but okay, 35, 13-year-old son with a sketchy father. 
she won't attract the high value man because the whole package ain't appealing. They got to look after 13 year old kids straight away. They got a mum who's 35. Father's out the picture, might come back one day and cause bare issues. Don't know, he might be in and out of prison, who the fuck knows. Money, yeah, she's got money, great. It's a benefit, but it's not a benefit because they don't yeah, share about money. money. Yeah. They'll rather go for the 19, 20 year old girl who's got none of this. Who's I mean, I'm looking. sure not all men want a young 19. I know, all, it doesn't have to be 19, 20, but <laughs> they can go for No, <laughs> just because he's making six figures, what, how old is he? 28? 20, so six figure owners that are 25, 26. She's 35, though. She's, she's not 35. Someone else. But I'm saying these guys yeah. who are high value, let's say early 30s, they could all date a 21, 22 year old and they'll be fine with it. Why would a man who's in the top 10% of earners who women across the country want want that there we go um because i have a lot to offer um i feel like would you want your son to if you had a son making that kind of money would you want him to bring home a woman who had a 13 year old son for that's a good question to you so we have a kid yeah and he's made he's very successful would you want him to bring home like no. a single mom no whatever <laughs> she's got money though nope. there we go nope. so this is the exact same thing that's happening yeah i'm not saying there has to be a young girl but that's different though because if her son brings someone home he's young himself anyway he hasn't lived life and everything no no no. but he's not the, about the older him. you no, the older you get the more you start accepting things of course if you're like a four-year-old man you can't say yeah but when we say a son when we say a son we're talking how, he's a six figure he's he six though? figure earner so he's not a kid he's not five years old he's not 13 if he's making six figures he's got a proper job to get a job you're 18 to be earning six figures you're at least 24 25 minimum and you're fucking successful at that age if you're making that money so minimum you're 25 year old kids minimum you could be 28 to 30 brings home a single mom like would you rather him just get a girl that's like got no strings that can burn your son in the future. He has to look after her 13 year old son. I mean, no offense if the dad's passed away then. If he's passed away, that's co- no, no, that's a new situation. Yeah, but that's I'm a saying, whole different she situation. She don't know where he is, she's, he's about. She didn't say he might be in and out of jail. I know. would not recommend it. Exactly. Because you don't know what the baby daddy's gonna do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, baby daddy's gonna be reckless. I would not recommend it. <laughs> so as your mom, if you were a mom, you're, you would have recommended it to your son. And I'm sure it's the same way in this case, yeah, they're six-figure earners. Obviously, they probably care what their family think as well. But if they're not getting recommended by their family, why would they want it themselves either? But they'll rather find a girl that has no issues, no strings attached. Yeah, she ain't got money. He don't give a fuck about that. Anyway, he's got money. There's no headache. Better looking, five years younger, stays at home, does it because she's not a business owner. She's more at home. He's looking after her. That's way more appealing to a six-figure man in this day and age. It's not a fault. She's she's there Every expect day, to get a single mom. Man can get anyone. Exactly, but this is what I'm saying. He can get anyone, yeah. but why would he choose her over that? Like, if he can get anyone, he's not going to pick that situation. Then over that situation, it's madness. You can fall in love with anyone. If you love at first sight exists, then cool. Yeah. That's different. You can fall but in love. <laughs> strategically, it makes no sense. And logically, from a sketchy father. Or would you prefer him to get a woman who had no children, See? was younger and easier to get on his program? Yeah, that's exactly my point. Depending on his age. Um, this is, this, I, see, this, see, that's what I said. And that's what you said? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is living proof, guys. That is literally the same shit. The copy and paste. <laughs> Uh, people, <laughs> people are going to think we watched this video already. We actually <laughs> haven't, I swear to That's God. That's so crazy. See, this is literally <laughs> proof, like, what you said. No, saying. but this is what I meant, though. If your son... If, okay, let's just say we had a kid. If he's young... <laughs> yeah, but... I would not want that for him. Yeah. If he's an older man... If he's, like, in his 50s, 40s... 40s, oh, right, fuck is up. what it is. People have lived their life. Come yeah. on, man. You can't expect other women to not have lived life as but well. But if he has... Like you said, he's a six-figure earner. This kind of caliber man... All women are chasing and they want him. He's not going to be desperate for this one Yeah, but girl. like I said, some men do want a woman that's got a brain in their head as well. Mm. It's not all about just looks and looking like mm. a Barbie doll, Kardashian mm, or whatever. Some men do want a woman some. that's going to support them. It's rarer. Not financially, but just mentally, mentally, you know, nurturing, loving and everything. So that's what she can bring it's to the It's more table. of an exception, yeah. but it does exist. But generally, 100% the guy would want less headache. Who wouldn't want less headache? See what I mean? See what I mean? This goes so deep for black women. They will even, that should have been an easy question. 
no, I would not want my son to bring. I want the best for my son. That should have been the appropriate answer. That's why I sat up. That is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> you should want the best for your son. Of course. But this I is. Did. But and are you thinking? <clears throat> If he not gonna lie, he dresses proper sick. Have you heard that song, Smooth Operator? You've heard that old school yeah, song. I think so. He's yeah. like the smooth operator man. Yes. <laughs> He's the background smooth music, yeah. slick guy man. Yes, I feel like I'm the exception to the rule. But no, I you're not. A- that's the problem. You all think you're the exception to the rule, but but your life has proven to you that you're not. My love life is not that good. I agree with you. That's I- my point. And ma'am, and that's my point. You ladies all feel like, listen, you ladies all feel like you're the exception to the rule. And then when someone like myself comes along and gives you a, a dose of reality, instead of just accepting it, it's like, yeah, but yeah, but I'm special. You don't know any men on this level. Hmm. <laughs> That are not your father, that aren't related to you. That means you don't know these men. You don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. But you're still saying, pick me. They don't want mid 30 year old baby mamas. I'm trying to be polite, man, but they don't want those. He's very good at being that cutthroat reality check. And I think a lot he of people do. He says it in a nice way as well. He's saying it in a, a not like, way. it's not a way that's going to cause an argument. Yeah. Like, it's a respectful way, but he's saying it. Yeah. And hopefully the message gets across to a lot of people. Question? Did you hear what I said? Yes. Why is that so? Okay, go ahead. Why is it so? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um. Uh. Is patient. My, from my point of view, I feel like I, I get what you're saying. They, they they do have better options, but also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. Um, Bullshit. Yeah. I'm fifty one and I and I can't beat them off with a stick. That's another one on you lies. No, younger women are always younger women are attracted to the older men. They are. I think they yeah, are. Yeah, they are 100%. You know? What are you talking about? So, can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So, do you feel like a woman like me? Uh-huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from 1 to 10? You cannot use 7. Would I rate myself? <laughs> Man said you can't use 7. I think that's probably the safe number that everyone goes for. Mm, just your face. <laughs> um, my face when I wake up, 5. But when I put myself together, 6. Okay. I respect her for kind of just being straight up like that. Some girls will struggle to say that low of a number about themselves. I think she's way higher than a six. I think she's a five. And how tall are you? Five, five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three. Okay. So that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men they tend to get average men so um did you did you i mean stop right there stop right there stop right there breathe and digest (laughs) it's a very good session and you know what i could see why people pay him for his sessions because fucking hell the the reality check is legit man and like i hope you know, although she didn't pay for this, I hope it really hit home and made her realize like what she needs to do. Five years old and you can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher earning men with average looking women off rip. If you do see them, they got them, they got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up. But a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman. I do agree with that. Like the rich millionaire guys who are with an average woman, let's say, looks wise. 99% of the time they knew each other from high school. They dated. It was like their high school love. And he's he wasn't a millionaire then. And he's worked his way like he was broke back in the day. And he's a millionaire now after graft, like 10 years of graft. A man who is a millionaire from early 
or have gone through a breakup or whatever, he's not going to look for, unfortunately, a 5 out of 10, let's be honest. He's a millionaire, he could get what he wants. Of course, he, he can. Wants, he wants yeah. a 10 out of 10, yeah. or 9 out of 10 minimum. Yeah. And he can get 20 it. 20 out of 10. He can get it, easy, because he's got the peas, he's yeah. successful, he's got the cars, the house, the stability. It's a harsh reality, but it's true, man. man. I mean, my body is not average, so. But you're, ma'am, you please don't make me say it. Ugh. Say what? Ah, I feel bad. I really just wanted some advice. I love your you. Stuff. I'm giving you. I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The I'm, advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but. Okay, but you're not accepting the fact that. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Average looking women, average looking woman who's older, average looking older woman with a 13 year old son, mm. average looking woman with a 13 year old son with a sketchy baby daddy. Mm. This gets. Is she even listening? I think she's just so. Uh... <sighs> It's proper hit her. It's hit her, but it's true, man. And you know, I think she feels like crying, but she's using the phone to stop her. I don't yeah, know. that she probably <laughs> is. And you know what? She's taking it well, though. She's not like some woman. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. How dare she's hundred percent taking it well. Like yeah. you know, she's obviously a fan of his advice, and you know, she's been watching him for a while. And fucking hell, it, it must hit home for her. And I feel bad for her, man. It is sad, but she's asked for it, and you know, he's been as nice as he can about it. You want the advice that's this is the reality of it and the thing is because she's still not accepting it then he's digging a bit deeper yeah, to... and it's making her obviously it's gonna hurt yeah her. of course yeah, yeah. It, it's sad it's sad yeah. to see every time i say something and now you're asking for a man who's in the top 10 percent of men mm -hmm. you don't qualify for one and you're making i mean i don't i don't want to have to go there but when you put in the, all these other factors, why can't you just get a man that's an average guy? Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I feel like um, in order to fully submit, I have to feel like he's in Well, then you're going to then you're going to die alone. How about that? You, right, let me just cut to the chase, ma'am. Uh, you can feel like what you want to, but women like you die alone. Straight up. What's your thoughts on that? He said it harsh. He just had enough. He's like, basically, if you don't lower your expectation, you're going to end up dying alone. It's the reality. I mean, it's not impossible for her to find a six-figure man. Extremely hard, though. But it is extremely hard because based on what she said, she doesn't even know anyone that earns six figures. Mm -hmm. She hasn't come across anyone that earns six figures. So How the hell is she going to attract one? It's going to be hard for her to even come across one. And her package is not looking good. It's yeah. not appealing. Her package ain't appealing to say, all right, let me start looking for one and I'm sure I can bag one. Even if she starts looking for one, her package is very baggage heavy. But I'm sure in order for him to be on six figures, he's working hard. He's not. Course, he's got yeah. his own life to worry about. Last thing he wants is... Baby daddy baby issues. Baby daddy issues. 13 year old kid issue it's just long and he's there he'll rather someone who's just no strings attached peaceful life home more doesn't have to worry about our own business it's an easy life man because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for and the only reason honestly ma'am that i can see a woman like yourself really thinking you deserve more is because you earn more because you earn more money than most people around you in north carolina mm. But if your ass worked at the post office, you would not think so highly of your opportunities. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. And that's the reality. We don't, men don't care about your money. Not the kind of men that you want. We don't care about your money. Hmm. It ain't ours. Just, we care about the fact that you are older and you got kids. And you're average. <laughs> and your reality of your life has showed you that you don't have the kind of men that you want knocking on your door trying to find you in life yeah my personal experience if someone wants something that bad they will find a way to get it they will knock on that door i'm not saying they will get it but they will find a way to knock on the door at least see what we've done in this country this world is we've told women like yourself that you can have it all and you got a Prince Charming who's six foot, a hundred, six feet tall, <laughs> six figure income, jawline, all this other kind of stuff. And I'm sorry. Jawline? No. 
most people get average people, especially average people. Mm. And you're an average person. I mean, let's be real. You're not running Microsoft. You got you had a pet grooming business. You've been making six figures for the last three years. Okay. I feel bad. I rate her for how she's taking it, but I feel bad. And you're right. I think she's just on the phone because she's she will start crying. And I think after this, she, it's a reality her check. Her eyes are going to water, and she's yeah. definitely going to cry about it. I think she's using her phone as a distraction yeah, to yeah. stop herself. It's a defense away. mechanism. Yeah. And I, you know what it is, what it is. But good luck to her, man. I hope she finds. You know, I hope this reality check wakes her up a bit. And you know, there's nothing wrong with dating an average person if you're average. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's normal. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm looking at you, but if I looked at you and I took all that off of you, all the eyelashes and all the hair, what do you look like under there? I mean, I look the same. I'm just no, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have all that on. True. I'm sorry. No, you don't. You don't look the same. Because if you did, you wouldn't have all that on. True. So, what is your advice for uh, okay. women that? All right, I'll tell you my advice, man, because you're not listening to me. This is why I always recommend you need, you need to need therapy. Every, people think most of us in the black community need therapy, but you're not you're not dealing with reality. I asked you about your child's father, and you couldn't answer me. But it doesn't sound like you're too proud of him. Definitely your, what kind of also. student is your child? He's an A student. A kind of, does he have any behavioral problems? No, he actually got a YouTube channel and he's trying. I don't need that. I don't need no, no, just, no. But where is it? But his daddy is still, if his daddy is alive, does he have a, a relationship with his father? Yeah, he does. Then what's your issue with him? Um, He's not um, business minded like my father and my uncle and then that's why did you choose that's deep so because he's not business minded he's probably just an average guy as she's been talking about and someone that's not financially successful like her dad who she obviously looks up to you know all respect to them they're making good money and stuff but then she's probably seen her uncle and father and been like look at my husband he's nothing compared to the man that my dad is because they're financially well off but that's pretty sad because at first i thought maybe the dad's just gone with another girl or he's fucked off but it sounds like he's got a relationship with it. He's got a yeah. relationship with the kids, so he's doing his best. But she's saying the reason why I'm not with him is because she is not uh, business minded like my dad and my uncle, which is shit. So she's basically fucked him off because she her business probably started booming. She's making more money. She's the breadwinner now. Oh, I can find better. I can find someone on my level, six figures. But it don't work like that. And she's fucked off a good. Sounds like a good dad. I thought he fucked off and went prison. Like, do you know what I mean? He sounds like he's got a relationship with the kid. It sounded like a positive relationship as well. And I guarantee after this reality check. She's probably going to give him another chance and he probably deserves better from the sounds of it. Make a baby with him before you got married. Young and dumb, I was 16. Exactly, was and that cost. See, yeah. Th that young lot. and dumb shit, let me stop you right here. That young and dumb shit you black women throw out <laughs> as if it's supposed to get... A... Listen and listen well, women. Young and dumb is not a get out of jail free card. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go woof and change the fact. You still have to carry that consequence. And men are not rushing up to be stepfathers to 13-year-olds. Fox. What would be better is if you honestly sat down and asked yourself, what value can I bring to a man? And I know that, what I can. Well, all right. What can, what value, what, what is it? God. What is it? Hmm. I can help him with his business. I'm very business minded on the um, end of helping organize. And I plant um, into planting my own garden. So I can definitely plant um, into um, improving my elegance with um, just self improvement and, and working on myself. And man, at um, 35 years old, at 35 years old, here's what you told me I can help him with his business. Due respect, ma'am, um, and I mean no disrespect, but 20 to 30 percent of people own businesses. What about the 70 to 80 percent of men who don't own them? That means that doesn't matter. Uh, that means nothing to the average man. Then the next thing you said, I can plant. Ma'am, 
He's making six figures. I'm sure he's got his own garden if he really wants to. <laughs> you don't need a woman to plant his plants for him. That means nothing to most <laughs> people because we go to grocery stores. Then you say <laughs> self-improvement. You've had, uh, I, I gave you a shot at saying what you have to offer to men and you said nothing that we value. Mm. It's true. Well, what do you value? It's true. What do um, you yeah, book a session. Book a session. Book a session. I'm not I'm, doing this. Nope, 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 nope. I'm done. I'm done. I've, I've tried to go around. But this has happened. The older you ladies get, the more you get set in your ways. Book a session because I don't want to do this in public, man. Because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being. She's a bit in denial. Yeah. She's refusing to accept the reality check as well. I think she's accepted it a little bit, but she's trying to wiggle out of it and be like, okay, but mm. how. Do I get a six-figure man despite this reality check? But and he's, he's already saying, just said you can't. <laughs> yeah, he's literally saying you can't. I can't change men. Yeah. I'm not a miracle worker. This is how men are. Yeah. It's nature. But she's trying to get his reassurance that or advice to still find a way. I'm about he's to be G. mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot <laughs> you broads <laughs> handle the goddamn truth. You called my show on a day that you ain't even supposed to be here. And I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you, telling me I'm being mean. Get the fuck out of my phone. I'm tired of God you doing this shit. God damn. <laughs> smooth operator. He's a very smooth guy, man. That was the first time us watching a Kevin Samuels video. What was your thoughts on it all? He is great. <laughs> He's amazing, man. The way he, like you say, he breaks down everything. He's very polite, but he's very comfort at the same time. But the way he delivers it, you will not feel offended. Yeah. Like if I was to be that woman, I would not feel offended at all. I would feel like my dad's talking to me or something. Yeah, yeah. And my dad's giving me life advice. Life, yeah. Like you can't get mad at your dad. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like he yeah. does it for your best interest. Yeah. You kind of, and the way he did, like you say, he's very calm. He's very patient. Like, he's got a lot of patience. Considering she came on his show yeah. unannounced for the wrong topic, he could have fucked that off in the first two, three minutes. He stayed 20 minutes with her and he dropped like nuggets of gold mm. of knowledge and information. I didn't even think of it in that way. You know, you know when I think, oh, you know, girls want to attract a guy. I've never broken down to a way like how, why they might not be able to attract a certain caliber. He broke it down so well. And I hope she books a session. I feel like she needs it. I feel like she did. She's got money. She's making six yeah. figures. She's I'm got sure money. that she did it in the first place, but but you know what? It was good for him in a business perspective because yeah, yeah. there's I'm sure there's many other people probably yeah. in a similar situation like her. They go, oh, I need advice as well. I'm and in a similar situation. Let me book it in with him. It's got for over three million views. It blew up on the internet. Oh, it yeah. really done well, and yeah. I'm sure he got crazy amount of custom through this one video. So although it was a bit annoying that she's done that. In a business perspective, it, it actually helped him. It, it, it marketed yeah. him well, so well. That's even, why. That's probably why he allowed it to. Yeah. I mean, for him, it was like, I'm going to teach you guys a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> and even the YouTube view money, I'm sure, yeah. was pretty good out of that. So, mm. yeah. Please, guys, recommend some more Kevin Samuels videos. We would love to react to more videos of him. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Any and like button as well, please. Like button as well, guys. But for now, peace out. Bye.